Embracing the cosmos has been humanity's dream for generations. Today, we stand on the precipice of a new era in space exploration, heralded by the development of SpaceX's Starship Orbital. This colossal spacecraft is not just a machine. It also symbolizes our desire for exploration and the effort to push the boundaries of what seems almost impossible. No one would have thought that Starship could progress so quickly and to achieve what it is today, including the hardware for rocket construction, pre-programmed automation, rocket support infrastructure, manufacturing facilities, and more. SpaceX and Elon Musk have also had to put in a great deal of effort. But wait, that alone is not enough. The ambitions for Starship are immense. It doesn't just stop at being a reliable spacecraft. It quickly adapts to optimize all benefits as much as possible. This has been most evident in the past two and a half years with the astonishing transformations of Starship. While it has currently reached a completed design, Elon Musk's visionary outlook propels Starship into continuous significant changes, especially with the latest update introducing Starship V2, signaling a new era for a new generation Starship system about to explode on the scene. The Starship at the present time is referred to by Elon Musk as V1, including Ship 28, designated for the next test flight, as well as ships 29, 30, 31, and 32 all seen. After that, we will have to bid goodbye to these first generation ships and welcome the brand new second generation Starship with many superior features. But right now, there will be five more flights with the initial V1 configuration of Starship. This might also be necessary to bridge a gap in the production flow as SpaceX is making significant changes in Starbase during the transition from tent-based to factory-based infrastructure. Production might be understandably slow during this period before we see the next step. As we stand on the threshold of this new frontier, it's worth taking a look back at the journey that brought us here. Sit down, enjoy a hot cup of tea, and join us in reminiscing about the ambitious journey of SpaceX to create the shiny silver starship and super heavy that we see today. From the initial sketches to the towering prototypes ready at SpaceX's Starbase facility, the development process of Starship is a story that reflects humanity's quest for the stars. The tale of Starship doesn't begin in the vast complexes of NASA, but in the ambitious dreams of a private company determined to revolutionize space travel. SpaceX has long been synonymous with bold innovation in space technology. Yet, even by these standards, the Starship project is a leap into uncharted territory. The origin of Starship can be traced back to Musk's initial thoughts on colonizing Mars. At an international space technology event in 2016, the world's billionaire Elon Musk introduced the spacecraft for the first time with the name Mars Colonial Transporter. It was later renamed to the Interplanetary Transport System as he realized his ambition extended beyond transporting to Mars. This system really gives you freedom to go anywhere you want in the solar system, Musk said at the event per Popular Science. The 2016 design proposed a rocket with a carbon fiber shell, featuring expandable legs that could deploy upon landing. By 2017, the design started to look somewhat like its final Starship form. This version was named BFR. SpaceX's president, Gwynne Shotwell, eventually announced that BFR stood for Big Falcon Rocket, a nod to the company's other rocket. But it was widely reported at the time the acronym originally referred to a very different name used colloquially in-house as Big Effin' Rocket. However, Musk has never publicly confirmed this. More recognizable as a starship, its landing legs were gone, replaced by the characteristic arrow-like fin sticking out of the side of the rocket, though it has three fins instead of two. The most significant difference in the final design from the 2017 iteration is that the rocket is still cast from carbon fiber. However, that changed shortly thereafter. The final design, unveiled in 2019, is a beautifully shaped machine made of stainless steel. 
capable of carrying humans and cargo to the moon, Mars, and beyond. This design is not just functional. It carries an iconic reminiscent of the golden age of space exploration with a future touch aesthetic. At this point, the most significant leap for Starship is the decision to shift from constructing rockets with carbon fiber to stainless steel. Besides the substantial cost savings, with steel priced at $2,500 per ton, compared to carbon fiber at $130,000 a ton, the robustness of steel allows for a more straightforward construction process. Following this, Musk ambitiously declared that the rocket would be ready to fly within two to three months. However, the first Starship did not last that long. During the first liquid nitrogen pressure test, designed to simulate and withstand pressures during actual launches, Starship MK-1 exploded. The next phase of Starship development was marked by a series of prototypes, each named SN or serial number, followed by a number. These prototypes were not mere models. They were full-sized, functional spacecraft rigorously tested. Subsequent Starships were more successful flying several miles into the sky above SpaceX's facilities in Texas. The first official prototype that garnered attention was Starship Serial Number 8, or SN8. It soared to an altitude of 10 kilometers, then shut off its engines and belly flopped to the ground, demonstrating that the spacecraft could fly. However, the prototype still collided with the landing pad and exploded. From 2020 to 2021, five upper-stage Starship rockets were launched, four of which ended in explosions or crashes before a fifth SN-15 finally succeeded. Musk's long-term plan is for Starship to become a reusable rocket, and the first time SN-15 demonstrated that the spacecraft could land back on its launch pad without any damage. The test marked a significant milestone for the spaceship to take its fully integrated form, stacked on top of its Super Heavy booster. Finally, in 2023, SpaceX completed two fully integrated Starship launches, with the incorporation of thousands of changes and technological innovations. However, the conclusion of these journeys involved explosions and SpaceX lost vehicles. Although somewhat disheartening, it cannot be disputed that explosions or failures are part of what rockets do, many times repeatedly, throughout the history of unmanned spaceflights. The inevitable aspect of this testing process is essential for success in space. Space exploration, as reiterated time and again, is a challenging endeavor. SpaceX understands this as well as anyone, following a rapid development model of build fast, fly fast, fail fast, and fly again, making it one of the world's leading launch service providers. Its signature Falcon 9 rocket has successfully flown 284 times since 2010, including 61 launches in 2022 alone. Presently, it has completed 81 launches since the beginning of 2023, and Starship requires more of this repeated testing than most machines. The rocket is an exceedingly complex beast, with a first stage equipped with no fewer than 33 engines. Its second stage is powered by six engines and will increase to nine with the newly announced Starship version, too. That, as Pablo de Leon, the chair of the Department of Space Studies at the University of North Dakota puts it, is a nightmare for the plumbers, reminiscent of the Soviet Union's 30-engine N-1 moon rocket which was intended to carry cosmonauts to the moon, but is best remembered for blowing up spectacularly in a 1969 test flight, causing the largest explosion in space history. Starship did not do nearly as badly in the two fully integrated test launches. The Soviet N-1 erupted just seconds after liftoff, collapsing back to the ground and destroying the launch pad. SpaceX, meanwhile, never promised that Starship would succeed but they have achieved the mission goals they set. I think this explosion was something that SpaceX anticipated as a realistic possibility, said John Logston, professor emeritus and founder of the George Washington University Space Policy Institute. They did a very good job of lowering expectations prior to the launch, and I think it's because they realized that testing a complex system like this, there are multiple things that can go wrong, and, and something did. More still could. The company is continuing to build Starships at a furious pace, 
reminiscent of NASA's Apollo era when 13 Saturn V's were flown from 1967 to 1973, nine of which carried crews to the moon in just a four-year window. I think that they have a factory full of multiple duplicates of these systems, says Logsdon. It's not like they lost something that's irreplaceable. Musk has delivered on his promise for Starship, although the timeline may have been delayed. The company has staked its future, and NASA has staked its Artemis moon program on the promise that the mammoth rocket will indeed fly and fly well. Rockets explode and rockets soar. If history's a guide, it will ultimately achieve the other. That's all for today's episode. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please let us know what you think in the comments section below. Your feedback is very important to us and helps us make better videos for you. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.